Hello, Flight Sim fans, and welcome to the Practically Geek channel. In this episode of the best free add-ons for Microsoft Flight Simulator, I'm going to be exploring three American airports, which are all available from flightsim.to. If you like any of the airports shown in this episode, I've popped a link to all of them in the description down below. If you do enjoy this video, give it a massive like and please consider subscribing to the Practically Geek channel for more flight simulator and aviation content just like this. Starting in St. Louis Obispo County, California, we found ourselves at Lima 52 Oceano County Airport developed by Vincent Basilio. Two of the three airports in this episode have been created by Vincent and are made from a pilot type perspective to give the sceneries a much more true to life appearance. Oceano Airport is located near Pismo State Beach just beside the Pismo Dunes Natural Preserve and covers 58 acres of land. The airport has one runway, no control tower and is used by general aviation aircraft. Vincent has done a great job fixing this aerodrome. One of the biggest upgrades is the row of hangars located southeast of the main ramp. The autogen in the default scenery didn't even bother placing them down. These are now present in the freeway and already make the airport look more true to life. As mentioned by Vincent in the description for this freeway, his add-on is made with 99% of Microsoft Flight Simulator default objects. He has however handcrafted signs and other objects specific to Yoshiano like this Dr Pepper vending machine. The main office and pilot's lounge has been custom built for the scenery. Extra details like the rusty metal roof, security cameras, satellite dish and the textured walls really add to the building's realism. There is a great amount of detailed signs scattered around this small airport. I particularly like the ones for the AV fuel and the various biplane rides. Oceano Airport doesn't have a huge landside area. In fact, it's pretty much a small parking lot. That said, Vincent still has managed to give it an upgrade with better ground textures, road markings and car models. I really love the use of the default objects within this add-on. The General Aviation Airport now looks more densely populated thanks to hand-placed clutter like containers, benches and various bits of fencing. Another good example of this is over to the south where this remote hangar is located. Ground crew appear to be working near a windsock while the large tanks in the background have been replaced with more authentic looking ones. To see the amazing work Vincent has done with Oceano, I've compiled a before and after comparison which shows you in better detail the improvements that have been made between the default scenery and the freeway add-on.
Luciano Airport by Vincent Basilio is available over on flightsim.to. Be sure to check out more of his freeware add-ons via his profile. Links to both can be found in the description down below. For the next free American airport, I've traveled 300 miles southeast to San Diego County, California to explore Ramona Airport, Kilo Romeo November Mike, which is also created by Vincent Basilio. Ramona Airport is a public airport two miles west of Ramona and is used by General Aviation Aircraft, the California Department of Forestry and the United States Forest Service. As mentioned, this freeware add-on has been developed by Vincent Basilio and has been given a pretty substantial upgrade thanks to several visits he has made to this airport. Let's start over on the south side of the aerodrome and as you can see there's a nice level of detail all around the apron with static aircraft, wooden crates and more true to life looking hangars complete with the cruise air logo. It's worth noting that 90% of the auto generated buildings have been replaced with more appropriate ones from the Microsoft Flight Simulator library. Over 600 objects have been hand placed for more realism, with a large number of these being custom signs and buildings. The custom signs are brilliant and add a much needed authentic touch to the airport. Vincent has custom made a lot of signs and placed them around Ramona Airport in their real life locations. I especially like the ones for the Epic Fuel, Plus One Flyers, Ramona Air Attack Base, Classic Rotors Museum and the Cal Fire and US Forest Service badges. There is a lovely level of realism around this add-on. The Forest Service apron and buildings surrounding it look amazing. There is even traces of fire retardant on the ground near the collection of tanks and pumps. The apron further west has been given a nice little upgrade. It now looks much more realistic with cracked tarmac, dirt and small buildings. Bullfrog Sim have provided a custom model control tower for Vincent's scenery, which looks exactly like the one here at Ramona. The building colour and sign are spot on and it looks really great. Just beside the control tower and apron is the compass rose which actually matches the real life one. Vincent has added in a lot of authenticity to this freeware add-on and has created a really great rendition of this airport which didn't look best in the default scenery. With that being said let's take a look at what Ramona airport looked like before the add-on was installed versus what it looks like now. Here is another before and after comparison to show you just how much Vincent has improved this scenery.
Ramona Airport can be downloaded for free at the link in the description below this video. If you are enjoying this video, please give it a massive like and a sub to the channel would be fantastic and help more people discover my flight simulator and aviation content. To explore the last airport and the biggest featured in this episode, I've flown 900 miles north into Deschutes County, Oregon to visit Redmond Municipal Airport, Kilo Romeo Delta Mike. Redmond Airport aka Roberts Field is located 2 miles southeast of Redmond City and is the main commercial airport in central Oregon with scheduled passenger flights to several hubs in western US as well as seasonal flights to Chicago. As well as passenger flights, Roberts Field is also home to the United States Forest Service, Landcare and private air tanker companies. This freeway add-on is by Bullfrog Sim and is their latest add-on which gives Redmond Municipal a massive facelift with many custom buildings being added like the airline terminal, control tower, fire station, the leading edge jet centre and the Redmond air tanker and smoke jumper base. The runway, aprons, taxiways and ground markings have also been given a boost with a complete rebuild. They now look more true to life with better textures and colouring. Night lighting has been upgraded giving better immersion to the airport after hours. For a better look at how the lighting has been improved, stay tuned for the before and after comparison coming up shortly. Bullfrog have done a fantastic job with Redmond Airport. This large area of hangars for example didn't even exist in the default scenery. It was the same north of the terminal. Many buildings were missing. As you can see now they have all been added in making the aerodrome look a lot better. The handcrafted terminal is beautifully modelled. The texturing is good with a mixture of different materials being used to create the building. Landside also looks great. The stone walls and added foliage mimic the terminal's exterior in real life. Just like the other handcrafted buildings, the control tower looks great. Its appearance closely matching that of the real one here at Redmond. The nearby fire station and maintenance building have also been custom modelled and bring more authenticity to this freeway add-on. Bullfrog Sims upgrade to Roberts Field is actually pretty extensive. As I mentioned before, the north side of the airport looked absolutely terrible in default. Looking at it now, you wouldn't believe it was the same airport. With that said, it is best to download UK2000 Object Library for more ground clutter. This can be found for free within the simulator's marketplace. That brings us very nicely onto the last before and after comparison of this episode. You will now see the brilliant upgrade Bullfrog has made to this airport. Let's take a look at the default scenery versus the freeway add-on right now.
Redmond Municipal Airport is available over on flightsim.to. If you do like the look of Bullfrog Sims add-on and you end up downloading it, please consider leaving them a review. That was three amazing American airports you can download absolutely free. If you liked any of the add-ons featured in this episode, I've linked all of them in the description below this video. Please remember, every airport I show in these episodes are free. With that said, I do recommend giving the developer a donation of any size if you are able to. The upgrades they make to the default sceneries are absolutely fantastic. So will you be downloading any of these for your simulator? Let me know in the comments below and tell me what you think of them. If you have enjoyed this video, give it a massive like and please consider subscribing to the Practically Geek channel for more flight simulator and aviation content just like this. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you again very soon.